Hey, it's Chuck here, Milton Daily Homes, with the Friday Big Weekend Edition. We got 20 homes, so I gotta get going quick or I won't get them all in. So, first up is 235 Bronte, number 85, 2129. And you know what? It's not looking too bad. The kitchen's not perfect. Um, there's no hardwood or laminate or anything like that. But hey, you know what? This is an active price range. Maintenance fees are 278. They include water and the normal stuff. So, I, uh, I like it. You know, it's below what other ones are selling for. Now, this one on Maple has weird pictures. It's a one plus a den listed at 229, and everything's stretched and sort of bizarre, and you can't get a good feel for the room sizes. So um, that might hurt them, but to be honest, there's a lot of demand to live in this building, so I don't think it'll really affect them. They're probably going to sell it anyway. So 165 maintenance fees, again, water and the common stuff there. Um, 933 Deverell is at 279. It's the uh, the Ashfield model about 1050 square feet kind of standard they're easy to price really this one's probably pretty basic inside doesn't look like they have a lot of extras in it but I think that um, they priced it right on that's entry point really for anything in Milton freehold so 886 Willingdon is 312 and it's an end unit which typically adds a couple thousand dollars on these ones and it says there's hardwood on both uh, or on in the great room and dining room so on the second floor above the garage is where most of the living area is. So you've got hardwood there and uh, moon seed. I'm not sure how big that one is, um, but again, I mean, I think that uh, they're starting to creep up those ones. 1132 Tuppers, 3249, and nice looking home inside. Really nice and open. There's the island here. They put the couch right up to it, a uh, small Eden area there. And, uh, and then they moved it for that other kitchen picture. Um, everything looks really nice in this one. Three bedroom, three washroom, July possession. And uh, 1710 square feet. Hey, I'm feeling it. I like it. I think it's pretty good. Uh, 1296 Costigan is by the the uh, building that they built there. Uh, three bedroom, three washroom. I'm not as big of a fan of this one here. I find it looks really cramped inside. All you've got is this sort of L-shaped room and then the kitchen here. So functionally, it's a little bit smaller than the other one, 1660 or something like that. But I just find it doesn't really flow as well. Um, so yeah, I think uh, overall I would take the, the previous one on Tupper any day. Now this one on Short Read looks great. It's a Hillsview and 1510 square feet with a finished basement here. Short Read's a nice street. There's three-story townhomes across the street, but overall I find the neighbors are good. It's very quiet, especially in this little pocket here. Tons of pot lights. you got a nice-looking kitchen, stainless steel appliances, although the fridge looks reflectively like it's white, but it's stainless steel. Uh, the rooms are all good size. They built a great deck and... Nice looking basement too. They they definitely, I mean, a couple thousand probably spent on pot lights, and uh, yeah, all the rooms are nice. And there's laundry upstairs in this one too. So very nice. July fifth is the closing. And uh, actually, the other nice thing about Short Read is it's a couple doors down from a park. Now, 1115 Bonin, 369, four bedrooms, semi-detached, and the world is slowly tipping over. Um, yeah, I don't know, agents. You guys gotta. Uh, I, I hire a photographer. You know, if you can't take good photos, take a or hire a photographer. So 862 Luxton. This one's been out for a while. I am so surprised it hadn't hasn't sold at 389. I thought the pictures justified, you know, competitiveness. And I don't know if it smells like dog or if there's something going on in this home, but it's it's right beside a park. Um I, I really like it. There's something going on with this one, but I think that at this price, this is what stuff on Thompson sells with less features. So uh, Townland, 1860 square feet. I like it a lot. Go see it. It's probably ripe for the picking. 901 Hepburn has tenants in it, and last time we were there, the laundry upstairs flooded upstairs, and it had uh, the baseboards were stained, the carpet was musty. Uh, it was just kind of nasty, you know? It just didn't have a good impression. They're going to have a tough time selling this one. Southbury, 1987 square feet. It's got a nice layout. Um, but it, yeah, at that price, looks good. Hepburn's busier, but it just it doesn't show well at all. My client said, Chug, let's get the heck out of here when we were about halfway through. Uh, 333 Maplewood, 374.9. Now we're in the old area in Old Milton. Uh, three bedroom, two washroom, immediate possession. I believe it's vacant with a finished basement. Back split. So you've got the main level, a couple stairs up, a couple stairs down, and uh, three bedrooms. They're all looking pretty good. And uh, 60 by 115 lot, double drive. 
Nice. Okay, hardwood floors refinished. I'm gonna go see this one. So if you want some feedback about it, just email me. Just say, hey Chuck, uh, what was Maplewood like? And I'll be glad to share it with you. I'm gonna see it probably in about an hour. Uh, Cedar Hedge. This uh, this has been relisted. It started at 439, I think. It's down to 419. Looks pretty motivated. If you remember, I made fun of Cedar Hedge, and now I suppose I'm I'm sort of a fan of it after knowing the history. The pictures look awful. It looks like you, we've all had too many drinks uh, last night and we're looking through beer goggles here. But actually, you know what? This one is, um, it's a nice looking home inside. It's a Pottington 1820 square feet. Tons of upgrades, shields really well. And uh, I like it. I think at this price, it's really starting to look good. Uh, 468 Trudeau, 419, four bedroom. It's a Mason model. I believe it's about 1600 square feet, kind of a covered porch there. Um, like 1980s appliances, that reminds me of uh, mom and dad's old ones when I was growing up. Um, it did kind of a stone mantle here. You know, this model's okay. I find it's you either love it or you hate it. Uh, there's no finished basement. It's on a bit of a premium lot. It overlooks the park. Uh, at 419 though, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're holding back on offers. I don't think they're going to get this price. So insert foot and mouth might happen again, but I don't think they'll get it. Uh, 1337 Roper, 424.9. And this one, Roper, is actually looking over. So your front yard is basically seeing cars drive right by. To me, oof, it's a tough location. Um, actually, the owner used to be a real estate agent. And, um, you know, nice layout inside. They did laminate floors. Um, Pictures don't show 10 out of 10, but I think that it has a lot of value, but they're going to have a tough time. Even if this at this price, double garage, all that stuff, real tough time with this one. Uh, 1008 Bennett, this is a Shady Glen 2 we talked about yesterday. It's just over, well, it's a little bit less than 2,100 square feet, four bedrooms, and they finished the basement here. They got some hardwood floors at 445. No pictures, but I would say, hey, definitely check this one out. Looks really good. Uh, 201 Ellis. Now, this is one of the best uh, lots, I think, in the entire neighborhood. Ellis Crescent here, okay? And then you've got the home is right here, and you get a park beside with a couple soccer um, soccer fields. You get a pond in the back. They paid $25,000 for it. Uh, double car garage, five bedrooms in this one. And I <clears throat> go see this one. I love it. I definitely, if I have a client for this one, I would take it. And take them in a heartbeat. Uh, 371 Alexander 549.9 and a little bit cluttered in the kitchen. The floors are on diagonal. Um, this is a relist I believe and it's on the good part of Alexander. Uh, what I mean by that is when you look at uh, Alexander half of it really sucks because it backs on to James Snow and this one is around the bend. It's on this side here. Okay so finished basement on this one and about 2,500 square feet uh, it's a 100 foot lot. I like it. They priced it well. Uh, 247 Dalglish, 579. Looking great inside. Absolutely. No doubt about it. And four bedroom, four washroom. There's no finished basement. Double sink. You got the glass shower here. And uh, yeah, looking good to me. Um, 1036 Hem Street. This one's a realist too. 599. This might look a little bit funny here. It's kind of like a limestone finish. Kitchen isn't what you'd expect in a $600,000 home. Um, overall though, there are some nice things about this home and there's a finished basement too. The backyard looks nice. Um, for the right buyer, really nice. 541 Scott. Now Scott is a busier street. When you move up, you don't typically choose busier streets. You want quiet crescents for the kids to play. 619, uh, it's a five plus one bedroom. That's probably a den upstairs. Over 3,500 square feet. Great looking kitchen here. And I think really what's holding them back is the street because everything else looks nice. I mean, everything, the hardwood floors upstairs, the whole deal. Um, and it's, uh, it's a huge property. There's a third story here with a fifth room and a sitting room. Huge, huge. Scott, what can you say? So that's our list for today. Have a super weekend, and I will see you on Monday, okay? Take care. Bye.